Hi guys, it's Nev from Nev's Nail Art, and today I am going to be telling you about what brushes and other tools I use when I do my nail art. Um, this was requested to me from Janice from My Nail Creations, who does some really awesome stuff. She's on Tumblr, so you should definitely check her out. Um, first of all, I have an endless supply of brushes. I have so many of them, and I hate most of them. Um, that's because a lot of them are really bad. I These are pretty much the four things that I use all the time, and these are the only four things that I use. So if you want to be you know, a little bit cheap with your nail art, it's definitely possible to do. All the stuff that I bought, um, except for my dotting tool, I got at uh, Michael's Craft Stores, which are all over the U.S. Um, I'm not sure if they're outside of the U.S., but you can definitely get them there, or probably any other craft store. The first thing that I use the absolute most is the Simply Simmons Spotter Brush. It says 10 slash 0 on it right here. Um, this is my favorite brush because it works incredibly well. I've owned other small tiny little brushes before, and for some reason this one is just, it blows all the other ones out of the water. It works so much better than everything else that I have ever used. Um, this is another one of the little tiny ones that I've used before. As you can see, I am very messy when I do nail art. And you can see they're about the same size. But for some reason, the Simply Simmons one just works so much better. It's a pretty inexpensive, inexpensive brush. I got it for, I think, $3, like I said, at Michael's. And if I was going to only own one brush, this is the one I would own. Another brush that I got from Michael's is this one. Um, it has, it's flat. And I like it a whole bunch because it's good for painting the entire nail. So if I want to cover all of my nail with one color, then I use this one. Um, it applies really easily. It's basically like the brush that you get in your nail polish. So it's totally perfect for that. Um, it is called, I can't read it kind of at all, um, but I think it's called a royal brush. And it says something about a grip on it. And it has a number two on it. Um, the way that you can find it in the Michaels is it's in the inexpensive brush section, and it has this little grip thing on it. Um, I don't know any more than that, honestly. Um, I also use a dotting tool a lot. It's just a little tiny dotting tool. It was actually a present, so I don't know where it's from. But I actually never used to use any of these things. I used to only ever use a mechanical pencil. And if you don't want to buy any tools ever, all you need is a mechanical pencil, and you can do everything that you need to do with it. Um, this is an example of a mechanical pencil that I might use. I can use it two ways. Either I can put the lead out, or I can use it with the lead in. And I use it like it's a dotting tool, so I can dot with it, or I can actually even create lines with it. Um, I am going to, at the end of this video, do a little clip of me making some lines with all the different brushes that I have, and that way you can see, and one of the things that I'll do in there is include the mechanical pencil so that you can see how that works. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for everybody, and I will see you guys soon.